Okay, well, this is Sam and Max and the Devil's Playhouse. Um, this one just released on PC, so if you enjoy what you see of it, you can use exclamation point GLTC if you heard in the Twitch chat. And of course, if you are watching this as a VOD on YouTube, then the information for the game is going to be in the description box below. Hopefully it loads up. <laughs> I'm like, because it didn't last this long the last time. So, hopefully it, yeah, it didn't take that long the last time I played played the other Sam and Max games. So, okay. But um, I do want to take the time to thank the developers and publishers of Sam and Max, The Devil's Playhouse, for providing me with a free copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Like I said, this one does have some nostalgia for me um, because it was the first... We're going to turn on... I'm going to do periodic hints. Um, this does have flashing lights, so um, please be warned. Um, if they get too bad, then we'll go and turn them off. Um, I did turn on the subtitles. So, yeah. Um, we are going to... Because this is a... Um, Point and click adventure game. I am going to use the mouse for this one, even though I'm pretty confident that controller can be used. Because, like I said, the first time I ever played this was on PS3. So, the Pino Zone. A powerful, hungry space gorilla has crossed the galaxy in search of the legendary toys of power, and landed on Sam and Max's street. General. Skun Kinrapa claims to come in peace, but there's something fishy about this overgrown ape. With the help from Max's newly awakened psychic powers, it's up to the freelance police to send this intergalactic bully back where he came from to the penal zone. You know what? Now that I think about it, the only one I've played is episode one. I don't think I got the other ones. I think I played episode one because at the time... They had given it out for free on PlayStation. So. And I have not played a Sam and Max game in like. Well, I haven't played. Well, I can't say that because I did play. Um, like Master games not too long ago. Oh, encoding overload. I probably should have checked the settings for graphics because um, we are seeming to have some slow reaction times with the uh, my VTuber in the game. So we will try to adjust and see what happens. yeah one of the things i can say is the load times on this is not the greatest as i say that and then it loads up skunk ape maybe that's what it's supposed to be skunk ape From the archives of the Telltale Games. In all the universe, the only power beyond the mind's comprehension is the power to comprehend the power of the mind. If any one of us could unlock this terrible power, would we use it to explore the mysteries of the infinite? Or would we use it 
to destroy. Yes, yes. Tremble, Earthlings. Tremble before the might of General Skunkape. <laughs> You know, Sam, Skunk Ape may be a tool, but he brings a refreshingly childlike glee to his work. <laughs> yeah, Max, it's hard to stay mad at the guy. Witness Sam and Max with my unstoppable dreadnought, my sheep and queen at my side. And the power trapped in the fuzzy one's brain. Oh my I gosh, like are you serious? Beautiful planet and then dominate the entire galaxy. Not the shape of queen, like wait. Uh, wait, which one of us is the fuzzy one? It's a familiar tale. A power mad space gorilla pitted against a canine detective and a sociopathic bunny with psychic power. But, my friends, this story is different. In this story, you are in control. Only you can release our heroes from General Skunkape's bizarre Skunkape. space suit. Only you can guide them in their quest to bring the villain to space justice. Are you ready? Let's begin by finding the proper tool. Okay. If I could just reach my gun, we could administer an old-school freelance police-style beatdown to that guy. I can't wait to get my stinking paws on that damn dirty ape! Simmer down, Max. Check out Stinky's cell phone. We're gonna need that and your creepy new brain powers to get out of this cage. Click the badge to switch between Sam and Max. Okay. You are now inside the dankest recesses of Max's mind. Thank you, you can attempt to control his horrible psychic abilities, unlocked by the toys of power. Click on the toy telephone to activate Max's teleportation power. Well done, my friends. Now select a phone number that Max has memorized to teleport himself and his furry longtime companion to that location. And also Sam. Oh. Hooray! It's the freelance police. Oh, baby, I've missed you. Ooh. Now what? Listen to the brain! Hey Sam, it's our new pal, the disembodied alien brain! The same. I am speaking to you telepathically. No one else can hear me, Sam and Max. I can. Shut up! Ooh. Your Earth weapons will never be enough to defeat <laughs> General Skunkape. Don't you still have that homing beacon? Click on the cardboard box to open Sam's inventory. Perfect. Now, you must place the homing beacon on General Skunkape's back to trap him in the penal zone. Okay. Hmm? What's that? Did you really believe it would be that easy? Kinda, yeah. We're gonna need some kind of cover to get up close and personal with Skunk Ape. Max, remember that you have been blessed with the gift. You must unlock your abilities with the remaining toys of power. Behold! Uh, hang on. Uh, there we go. <laughs> What is that? A nose? A nose? What is that? It's a lump of rhinoplasty. The wacky modeling clay that promises hours of fun. And delivers about five to ten minutes worth. Max, 
the rhinoplasty will grant you the incredible power of shape-shifting. You can use the rhinoplasty to pick up a picture of any inanimate object. Then, use the power of your mind to transform into that object. It's fun! Okay. X now has the power of rhinoplasty. Remember that you can click on a plastic toy to activate it. Rhinoplasty. Okay, click and drag the mouse to look around or use the... Let's click on the potted plant. What plant? Oh. Now that Max has an object on the on the rhinoplasty, he can turn into that object. Click on the lock. Try to look leafy and inconspicuous, Max. I always do. Well done, freelance police. Now, you must get that homing beacon onto General Skunkape before it's an alien the brain. <laughs> will be lost. Okay, click to move Max or hold down and drag the boss. Okay, What you've done with the place, my queen. Now what? Now we just use the remote Look control the Bosco gave us, and Skunk Ape gets sucked right in the penal zone, so to speak. Oh my god, <laughs> the end of windows in this game is funny. Uh... Done, Sam and Max, but I'm far too strong to be captured again. Soon this gateway will close, and there will be nothing to stop me. What do we do now, Sam? I don't know. With all the flashing lights and panels up here, there must be something that can help. How are we supposed to get up there? The door's locked. Hmm, I can't open the doors now, but I have an idea. Before he was imprisoned, your friend, the Mole Man, was screaming something about taking over the ship. Find out what he knows. Okay. Hey, Harry, do you know how we can beat Skunk Ape? Poor Harry. General Skunk Ape put him in this penny-conscious terrarium to make an example out of him. Even if he could hear you through the glass, Sam, the sun lamp has made him even more worthless than usual. Max, you'll have to use another one of the toys of power. Okay. Oh! Sam! I mean... I mean... Yeah, Sam, you can't just be... And just be uh tossing my boy Max up like that. Oh, okay, I guess he can. He like yeah. It's an ordinary deck of playing cards. Or is it? Max, the playing cards have granted you the power to thrust your consciousness into the fleshy minds of others and pluck out their most intimate thoughts. Yeah. Only you could take something as beautiful and natural as telepathy and make it sound wrong. Right. <laughs> okay, well. Don't let 
to break you, Harry. Your name is Harry Mullen. Your serial number is 2483562. Your cell number is 2125554865. Favorite color is taupe. You have an infection of the lower... Okay, that's enough of that. Hey, Sam, I got Harry Mullen's phone number. Nice work, little buddy. Make sure you wait three days to call, or he'll think you're desperate. Excellent, Max. That phone number might be enough, because General Skunkape locked the Mole Man's cell phone and other belongings inside this container. Okay. So now we use the phone. They call his cell phone. Good job, Max. Well, there must be something here that'll help yeah. us knock Skunky back into the penal zone. Hey, Bray! Aren't you hooked into all the controls of this spaceship or something? Can you give us a hand with this thing? Let's be a little more sensitive. He doesn't have hands. So what's he gonna do? Punch me? No Ooh. hands! Ooh. That's messed up. But yeah, we know what we need to do. Um, go here. Right? Here. Take that. Use that on this. Transform into the bazooka. Good work, Max. Now let's. I'm a bazooka, Sam. A bazooka. Oh, just give me a moment to savor this. And low, Max. Careful with that trigger finger, Sam. Hey, Skunky, say hello to my little body. <laughs> that worked. <laughs> Never Max saves city. Friends, Alien you have just stopped. participated in a troubling vision of the future. The first of many such disturbing revelations. Over the next five chapters, you will witness things that baffle you, horrify you, even disgust you. But you must not look away. Pay close attention to everything that you see and hear. Because when our story reaches its bowel-tingling climax, only you, my friends, will possess the ability to save the entire universe. Okay. Let's see if we can play just a little bit more of this because that technically was kind of like the uh, walk. Hey Sam! This haunted toy I loop. found just gave me an uncanny vision of our violent future! I know, I saw it too, somehow. Did your version have credits? It had a spaceship, a friendly alien brain in a jar, and an evil space gorilla trying to destroy the city. What could it all mean?
creatures of Earth, I am General Skunkape. Hear my words. I have come to you with a message of peace and love. Eh, uh, sorry about that building. <laughs> What could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. My friends, you seem a bit confused. But there's no cause for alarm. We've merely let the story get ahead of itself. Let's take a brief journey back to properly set the scene. Our story begins 25 minutes ago, on a street very much like this one. This is Sam and Max, Freelance Police, Mobile Division. I have the Freelance Police, likes justice, blue dress, heavy weaponry, snacks, foods, criminal cats about his way. We're dislike Hello, that. Commissioner. No, we're not in the office. We're locked out of our building. It wasn't my fault this time! Max, other half of the Freelance Police, hyperconnected gravity thing. Became president in an emergency. One gaping, elections. treacherous crack in the street, and those pansies from City Hall shut down the whole block. <laughs> What's that, Commissioner? A sudden wave of lawfulness and goodwill spreading through the city? No, we didn't have anything to do with that. There aren't any crimes for us to solve? Okay, then. We'll be on the lookout for anything suspicious. The brain is dying. I'll have to call you back, Commissioner. <laughs> Why is he twerking? Out, <laughs> that I'm, sorry. All up to speed. I'm sorry. Now, it didn't look like Max was twerking, though. Something about a spaceship. Hmm. What could it all mean? It means we've got to find a way on board that spaceship, Max. Okay. Hold down our sh the right button or shift to run. Double click to run to an auto. Look at the gaping hole. Look at Sybil's boxes. It's a good thing Sybil packed all her junk into these boxes for safekeeping. And I'm especially glad we didn't put it in a secure, environmentally regulated storage facility like she asked us to. Yeah, this way's a lot cheaper, and everybody gets to enjoy it. Bosco Tech Labs. Visit our new location. Oh, so Mama Bosco's too good to haunt our street anymore? Well, this is kind of a bad neighborhood to be a ghost. All the best cemeteries are on the other side of town. Oh. Hello, sir. Mr. President. Agent Superball, former Secret Service agent, appoints a max as presidential cabinet, high risk of unprovoked song and dance routine. President? You are the ruler of this planet? Oh no, I'm just president of the United States. We're only one of many United Nations working You're together to here, achieve... Sir. You can speak freely. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm in charge pretty much. Perfect. Just the one I wanted to see. <laughs> Keep the hands where we can see them, pal. But of course. I have come to your pitiful, beautiful world for a peaceful exchange of technology. Oh, the wonders of the galaxy, yours. <laughs> What's the catch? No catch. <laughs> All I ask in return is your help while my 
research assistants search for an artifact of interest to my people. Um, artifact. What's this about an artifact? It is the eyes of Yog Sogoth. One of hundreds of magical toys scattered throughout the galaxy by the Great Comet. It's believed to give the holder the power to see the future. What a coincidence! I was just... He was just saying how he wished he could see the future, so he and I would stop showing up to work wearing the same thing. It gets pretty awkward. Okay, so he already has it. You're not from around here, are you? Guilty. You could tell by the accent, right? <laughs> no. I have traveled from a planet hundreds of light years away from your own. It was once a beautiful, swampy and muggy world. The air dancing with swarms of mosquitoes. The stillness of the night punctuated only by the mewling of infants and the drunken revelries of toothless secessionists. Its name would be impossible for your earth tongues to pronounce, but my people know it as Pensacola. <laughs> Pensacola? Oh, man. Wow. Uh, spaceship. Just wondering, how much do you pay for security on a ship like that? Security? You know, laser grids, explosive time locks, that kind of thing. We're just curious. <laughs> My spaceship and the wonders aboard it are open to all the feeble people of Earth. Okay. It's no fun when they don't put up a fight! What are you doing here, Agent Superball? As you know, sirs, when you appointed me Secretary of the Posterior, that placed me in command of the Department of Homeworld Security. I didn't know we had one of those. Did you, Max? Heck if I know! As soon as they gave me a button that shoots ballistic missiles and a hotline to Mila Jovovich, I lost interest in everything else! Well, I investigate visitations from aliens, abductions, violations of the time stream, lost continents, myth and legends, that kind of thing. Okay. Does the general want a banana? I see. Because I resemble your Earth gorillas, you assume I want a banana. I'm glad to see that Earthlings are still so charmingly racist. Ooh. Relax, buddy. We're just making sure you're getting enough potassium. Oh, well, he right. said we'll, that. Uh, let you know if we find that artifact. After clearing it through the Department of Homeworld Security first, just a formality. Go in peace. Well, he, he said that. It's General Skunk Ape's horrible spaceship. Good likeness. This place looks eerily familiar. Check it out, Max. The control center for invaders from distant stars. Yeah, yeah, alien spaceship. Seen it? I just want to get to the part where I have those sweet psychic powers. You just need our friend the brain to hook you up and... Oh no, he's dead. Didn't he look more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. Don't sweat it, Sam. I've got psychic powers. But we don't have anything, do we? You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? I don't know. We haven't done it yet. I know. What if you use that future vision on me? Okay. Oops, my bad. You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Okay. Oh. 
like clicked out of the In a better world, aliens and earthlings would be able to unite under our shared love of really cool guns. <laughs> okay. Step aside, ladies. Big winner coming through. Congratulations. Hey, pal, we want to ask you... I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now, while I enjoy an all-expenses-paid off-world vacation. So long, suckers! <laughs> and that is why we're doing a staycation this year. Weird. There's a hard hat and some kind of vacation ticket. All the personal effects confiscated from our fuel resources are collected and donated to various intergalactic Mole Man charities. What a nice gesture. We should leave it for when that Mole Man gets back, Sam. I think he uh, went to live on a farm to play with other Mole Men. Oh. <laughs> Check if he left his wallet. Oh. No such luck. Okay, um... It's empty. <laughs> right! I guess we can leave out of here now. Let's exit the spaceship and see if we can find um, the broth and stuff. to go in the subway that was accidental We might find the power core down Sheesh, here. The mole people are taking their own sweet time getting our subway station back into shape. Well, to be fair, they've been subcontracting to the Mutant Alligators Union. Those guys are notorious loafers. It's too far away to see if there's anything interesting and or useful in there. Okay. Rosemary keeps wandering off and leaving this thing behind. Oof. This broken gumball machine <laughs> Not always makes me baby. blissfully nostalgic for earlier times. Like that time we smashed this gumball machine. That was great. Four square and seven brides ago. It's a sculpture of Abe Lincoln's head. Sheesh, what will it take to get rid of that guy? He's not a real guy, Max. I can't be positive, but it seems to be made out of pudding. Is it the annual citywide pudding festival already? I feel unprepared. Hey, either you guys seen Charlie? He was supposed to be back by now. Okay. Now it says I'm supposed to be able to like. So let's go back up.
Okay. And then let us save. And go to the main menu. But that was a little bit of Sam and Max, the Devil's Playhouse. And if you enjoy what you saw of the game, you can pick this one up on Steam. This is a remaster of the Sam and Max games, obviously. Um, and again, I'd like to take the time to thank the developer and publisher of the games for providing me with a copy of the game to play on tonight's stream. Again, if you are here in the Twitch chat, you can use exclamation point GOTC. And if you are watching this as a VOD on YouTube, then the information for the game is going to be in the description box below.